guys, it's Heather. So today I'm going to be doing my kind of review on the CoverGirl Clean Whipped Cream Foundation. I did get the color in 310, which is in Classic Ivory. So I've, I've had this for a few days. I've worn it three or four times. And um, like I said, I did film a demo, so I will put that at the end of this video. And I really do love it. So I'm just gonna get right into my review. I love this. This is like one of my holy grail favorite foundations. When I first used it, I was like, oh yes, this is what I've been waiting for. I love it. I've worn it several times. It holds up. It's been like 90 degrees plus here and I've been outside playing with grays, with the dogs, whatever. And it lasts. And a lot of foundations don't last on me because when it's hot and my skin can kind of get a little oily, this is a really great product. I love it. And it's so easy to apply. Normally in the summertime when I'm going to be out doing different things, I will use like a BB cream that I really like that gives me a little bit of coverage. But this is honestly like that. It's so lightweight and so like I mean idiot proof I mean it just it just applies so easy and I did I've used my beauty blender with it and I do like that but this is a very like light to medium coverage foundation so I feel like the beauty blender just really breaks it down a little bit too much it just makes it a little too sheer and that's okay if you have great skin but I have some breakout areas so I like to use my Sigma F84, the angled one. This is probably my favorite foundation brush. I've had the flat one, I've had the flat angled one, but this is my favorite. And basically what I did the first few times I used this, and I know that a lot of people say, it's such a small bottle, because I got mine for like $7, and it is a 0.6 fluid ounce jar, but I've used this literally three or four times just out of the lid. I mean, honestly, I think yesterday was the last time um, when I finished what was on the lid and today when I applied it I barely dipped into it so this is going to last a while because you really don't need a lot so basically for the first few times that I used it just stuck my brush in the lid and just applied it like that and it just blends so easy and it's like it's literally like pouring or not pouring but putting whipped cream on your face that's what exactly what it feels like it's so soft and I love it so again my color is um, classic ivory and when you touch it it's just very very moussey just like you know sorry not to flip you off but just like whipped cream I mean it's very very soft and I'm in love with it so just blends out like that love it love it love it and I'm the second lightest shade the first one 305 was a little too pink this is perfect perfect match a lot of people are saying you know how is it like the Revlon well the Revlon um, color stay whipped is 0.8 ounces so really I mean it looks a lot smaller but this is only 0.2 ounces bigger so it's really not that much bigger it's just the jar is very deceiving this one the packaging is very bulky but when you get down into it like once you cut all this glass bulk it's only 0.2 ounces bigger and this one is like 10 or 11 dollars so I mean honestly it's, there's not really much difference so that's basically how it compares to this as far as like size goes now this Revlon color stay whipped I really do like it but when you look at it it's just kind of like it's very whippy but it's a lot thicker so I'm gonna put it on my hand here I mean it doesn't feel as soft and airy as the CoverGirl whipped cream so that is the only difference this one's a little bit harder to blend um, not that it's super hard to blend or anything it's a little harder but it's a lot thicker. It's not as moussey feeling, like whippy feeling, <laughs> if that's word, as this. So out of the two, I do prefer the CoverGirl. I've been using it since I've had it for the last like almost week and I absolutely love it. So I mean really for being 0.2 ounces smaller, it is a little bit cheaper, but I mean honestly I've used it like five times and basically just use what was out of the lid. Today I, you know, dip my brush kind of like in the rest of the lid and then I just kind of put a little bit of dots, just blended it out. It's beautiful. I haven't had any trouble with creasing, breaking down when I put my bronzer and blush on or anything like that. So I'm absolutely impressed with it. I love it. And it holds up. I've worn it for 12, 13 hours. It doesn't break up anywhere. It doesn't crease. It just, I mean, I can sweat and it doesn't come pouring off. It doesn't feel heavy. Like the Revlon Colorstay, whenever I get kind of sweaty, like if I'm outside, it can kind of feel like 
almost like it's like melting off. This just feels, I mean, I don't even feel anything. I don't, I don't feel anything at all. So I'm very impressed with it. And I do set it just in my T-zone, especially it being summertime. And my favorite powder is the Studio Care Blend MAC Press Powder. But again, this, this foundation isn't very heavy. So you can pretty much use a heavier foundation. This, or heavier powder. This one I like just because it's very, very soft. And it just kind of, I just dust it in my T-zone. It's not cakey or anything like that. So that is my kind of first impressions or review because I've used it several times of the CoverGirl Clean Whipped Cream. I will insert the demo um, at the end of this video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions. I love this. It's amazing. Go check it out. Again, Walgreens had it buy one get one 50% off. Um, I don't know if it's still going on, but they did. And then Walmart has it. I really couldn't find it at my Walmart at first. So that's why I got it at Walgreens. But again, super impressed the color range is a little eh. okay so i'm just going to basically read off of covergirl's website there are 10 shades um like i said it's not like a whole huge selection but 310 classic ivory matches me perfect i'm usually classic ivory in every brand so that works out fine um they are they're not there's not really any like yellow yellow shades they're kind of more pinky pinkier um some more than others obviously but so keep that in mind as well. But I'm going to read to you what they say. It says, our new lightweight whipped cream foundation gives your skin a boost of moisture without the greasy, shiny finish. Absolutely. It's definitely not shiny, and it's definitely lightweight. Um, you'll love the dreamy, 100% breathable formula that leaves your skin looking smooth, natural, and matte. Available in 10 shades to match your skin tone. And I totally agree with that. It's very smooth, um, very matte. It's not, it's not dewy at all, but it's not too matte to where you look like a cake face or, you know, anything like that. So I really do love this foundation. So I hope you guys try it out. Um, I highly recommend it. Again, I love using it with my Sigma F84 brush. It just applies like a dream. You can do it with your hands. I just don't really like doing that. But yeah, I've been wearing this for quite a while I do like it recommend it so I just wanted to do like a review of it and a demo so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys soon bye I, ho, ho, let's go, go.